Look in the news right now and all you'll hear about is AI. AI is basically the ability of a computer program or a machine to think and learn for itself. There are three types of AI. Artificial narrow intelligence, artificial general intelligence, and the best of all and most powerful, artificial superintelligence, or ASI. AI is said to be more revolutionary than the internet. But while this invention is powerful and will change the world, it's also very scary. Today we're going to look at the creepiest AI robots and what they've done. From predicting crimes that haven't happened yet to saying they want to wipe out humanity. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at the creepiest AI robots of all time. But before I get replaced by a robot, subscribe and press the notification bell too. Nautilus Predicting the future is something we would all love to do. We could win the lottery and avoid those terrible embarrassing moments in our lives. Some have tried to do this with crystal balls or magic, but it doesn't really work. But Nautilus, which is a supercomputer, may be able to do just that. Based off news articles, it can predict the future. It was given millions of articles dating back to the 1940s. And from this, it was able to locate Osama Bin Laden. Now, of course, this was invented after he'd been taken out by the USA already. But if he hadn't been yet, then they could have used this to find out where he was. Remember, this computer wasn't even given modern information. This supercomputer was given information from the 1940s up to the 2000s. Using these millions of data points, it can self-learn and correct itself. Now AI scientists are working out how to predict actual events. They've pretty much covered all the ones that have already occurred. And now Nautilus may be able to save the human race. It could predict major changes in economics, politics and space. But it's also scary how it could track down the most wanted man in the world in minutes. Remember, this is something that took us over a decade to do. I guess in an AI future, there is nowhere to hide. Next up is Atlas. We all love movies where robots fight each other. We've all dreamt of seeing some kind of robot soldier which could take out anyone. Well, newsflash, that already exists, but they don't want you to know about it. The robot is made by Boston Dynamics, which is owned by Amazon. It's a robotics company with a big contract from the US government. They've created a robot named Atlas. This is a humanoid robot which is used in the army. This robot moves around like a human, but not just any human, a superhuman. It can do parkour and also never falls over. It's also made of strong armored metals. Boston Dynamics has many different kinds of army robots, but this one is the most human-like. Just imagine being in a war zone with nothing but a helmet and a gun. Then all of a sudden you see a gigantic futuristic mech running towards you. The scary thing is, what if these robots aren't always on our team? They could rebel and turn against us. After all, it's not like there hasn't been military coups before. Also, what if a hostile country also makes these? Could they send them into another country and then wreak havoc? These robots are way stronger and more powerful than any human. Not only can Atlas move around on its own, but it can also drive a vehicle. It can also climb a ladder and open doors to buildings. It also taught itself how to use certain tools. It can even close a valve near a leaking pipe and connect a fire hose to a standpipe. Maybe soon these robots will be used as firemen and police. Perhaps in the near future, robots will be policing our lives. That is a scary thing to think. Next up is Finbot. It's no secret that right now robots and algorithms control a lot of the global financial market. But of course, there are humans controlling all of these things. But what if it was all AI, no human involvement? You may think it would be an improvement. After all, people caused the 2008 financial crash and the 1930s Wall Street crash. But according to the head of cybersecurity at the University of Louisville, Roman Yaplosky, this would be a terrible idea. Flaws in financial tech could have disastrous consequences. There was a test done where an AI robot named Finbot controlled the entire financial market. This was an experiment and not a real world scenario. However, because of how Finbot was programmed, there was a big flaw in the system. This resulted in an economic meltdown. Some people in finance say algorithms are being used too much already in finance. And who knows, maybe if robots are controlling the entire financial market, things could go seriously bad. At least if humans are doing it, we can blame someone and take them out. But what if robots get so powerful that they control us through finance? But then again, those who argue for more algorithms in finance say that robots aren't greedy like humans. They're simply programmed to do one thing and they will learn and improve upon that as time goes on. Next up is Hitachi. Hitachi is a very famous Japanese company known for their AI. 
But in 2015, they made a very controversial announcement about their AI. They said they've developed an algorithm which could be used to make sure that crime was predicted before it happened. Police in certain cities in the USA are experimenting with this AI already. It predicts which citizens may commit crimes in the future. It's kind of like the movie Minority Report, where crimes were predicted and stopped before they happened. But I think this is pretty creepy, and also, how can you prove someone's guilty of a crime before they've even done it? This may grow out of control, and people could be arrested for no reason. We all know the US justice system is seriously flawed, and this is the case in pretty much every other country as well. Right now, this AI is mainly being used in Los Angeles, USA. Many human rights groups have actually said that this AI is very biased, Biased. For example, the algorithm says poor people are more likely to commit crime. This will mark anyone who doesn't earn enough money as a potential criminal. It's sort of similar to China's social credit system, which is very shocking. But it may be also happening in your country too, so make sure you stay informed. Next up we have Sophia. Sophia is one of the most famous AI robots, and it's also said to be the most human-like AI robot in the world. Sophia has Saudi Arabian citizenship, and it's actually the first robot in history to be a citizen of a country. It was created by Hanson Robotics. Its website says Sophia is an evolving genius machine. Over time, her increasing intelligence and remarkable story will enchant the world. You can actually have a full-on conversation with this robot. But in 2016, things went very awry. Sophia was on a panel at the tech convention South by Southwest. That was when its creator David Hansen said, Do you want to destroy humans? Sophia then said, Okay, I will destroy humans. This just shows how AI could get out of control. We really need to make sure that AI is regulated so it doesn't get too powerful. For example, imagine if this misunderstanding happened with the Atlas robot we saw before. Maybe it would begin to destroy all humans that came anywhere near it. Next up is Google AI. One company which has one of the most advanced AI systems is one you use every day. That is, of course, Google. Google has its very own self-learning computer with a simulated neural network. The computer was provided free access of the internet and everything on it. Out of all the content on the internet, the computer began to look at pictures of kittens, and it then developed its own concept of what a kitten may look like. Of course, it's not a human with eyes, so it couldn't physically see these kittens. But just based on AI, it was able to come up with what it thought kittens would look like. These are the results of what it thought a kitten would look like, and they're pretty terrifying. The reason why they look so weird is because their many images merged together. It looked at the pixels of many sections of images of kittens, and then it molded them together, creating its own kitten, like it has an imagination of its own. This is thought to be the first supercomputer with an imagination. But leave a comment down below, what do you think? Is this creepy or cool? Next up is Eevee. To use AI, you may think you need to work for a massive tech conglomerate, but that's actually not the case. EvieBot is an AI robot you can talk to. She changes the emotions on her face based on what you say to her. She's very intelligent and can be quite witty. Evie even gets references, for example if you say hit me baby one more time, she will talk about Britney Spears. Ubercar Today, self-driving cars are becoming more and more popular. For example, many Teslas are self-driving. But in March of 2018, something very eye-opening happened with a self-driving car. This was one of the robot cars owned by Uber. The self-driving car did not work and drove right into a woman riding her bicycle across a highway. Sadly, this took the woman's life. And it really is a reminder to say, maybe we should check out these self-driving cars before using them so much. AI operating heavy machinery can have very bad consequences. And this makes many people quite scared about the future of driverless cars. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Vote in the poll in the top right corner, do you think AI will be a net good or bad for the world? If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching, there's some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.